Hi team, today I'm going to give the demo how to hire an employee. After that, how to create a user account for that employee. Then we are going to add the GL roles to the user. After that, we are going to create one sample journal and then we are going to perform the activity. Let's go for uh, write the sequence of steps. Hire employee and user account. After that, add GL roles and data access. I'm going to perform data access and then we are going to create journals and then I'm going to post the journals. Okay, so let's uh, let's enter into the application. Let's go to user menu, setup and maintenance and go to financials uh, offerings. After we go to financials offerings, let's go to the task, manage user task and choose this manage users task. Once we open the user task, system will ask us to create a employee, create. Here we are going to enter person details, user details, and employment information. This is all. I'm going to specify here m1.m1. m1.m1. M1 .m1 is a Gmail ID. I'm going to enter. Enter username m1.m1. M1. After that, I'm going to select uh, employee. And then I'm going to choose uh, legal employer name. I'm using built-in legal employer name, US1 legal entity. Then I'm using built-in legal entity, sorry, business unit called US1 business unit. Let's go for save and close. This is the explanation is required. That is called real time. There is nothing else. There is no difference between real time and as well as our, what we are doing in our assignments. You might have done number of times, but if you do, what, what language I'm using? Simple English. Simple English I'm using. I'm not using, did I use any words from Oxford University or dictionary? No, right? I'm using simple English. Let's open the task called manage users. Here we are going to create a user, enter personal details. Once employee is hired successfully, go to navigator, go to tools menu, go to security console. Whatever you are doing on the screen, just explain by using simple English. Simple English. Go to users menu. Here, search for the user m1.m1. Click search button. Everybody knows that, but still it is your demo. Here, you are supposed to improve your communication skills when I'm giving the opportunity to you. Right. Uh, you may think that everybody knows about this. Why do I need to explain? That is their problem. If they know it, okay. This is the opportunity I got. I'm, I wanted to speak in English. When you are in uh, you are in uh, other places, you will not get opportunity, right? That's try to reset the password. We are going to follow one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's use this same. Right, reset the password. After that, let's go for add the roles here. Let's go for add the roles. We wanted to add GL roles. Go to edit. Click add role button, search for the GL roles. When we are searching for GL roles, let's go for search the ORE underscore GL underscore general accountant and also ORE underscore GL underscore general accounting manage. Two roles has been applied to the user. Now, once we attach the GL roles, next we have to go for data access. Let's go to user menu, setup and maintenance. And let's go to financials uh, offerings again and search for the task here, manage data access to the user. Manage data access for users. and choose this role name here and choose the security context data access it nothing but our uh, primary ledger choose us primary ledger and i'm going to use duplicate and then choose the role name and go for security context and attach the ledger 
After completion of data access assignment to the user and role combination, go to initial users. We must run the LDAP process so that this LDAP process is going to synchronize the users and roles information. And uh, sometimes we may get error like this. No problem. Somebody might have submitted this LDAP process. Already it's running. No need to worry about. Let's log out from current user, from admin user. Let's log in with the new user, whatever we have hired. And then go for enter the credentials. Once we log into the applications, we'll go to navigator menu. First, we'll check the roles has been applied or not. Then we'll check the data access has been applied or not. Go to navigator, general accounting, and journals. We are going to create a journals. And go to the task list here. Let's go for create a journal. When we want to create a journal, first we have to enter the journal batch. If we want to enter the journal directly, no problem, we can enter, but system will create the batch automatically so let's go for enter the journal here first journal some batch name and i'm trying to choose the period it's uh, april is there let me take uh, march 23 and choose the date 6th march 23 and choose the category. We can choose any category. Let me go for adjustment. Here we are going to enter journal lines. Choose the account uh, code combination. We'll be getting chart of accounting structure here. Choose the valid combination. And here uh, we will choose the account name, which is uh, debit account combination. And press enter this and go for uh, credit entry. cash transactions, press OK. This is credit is $99. Save this transaction. Now the journal has been created successfully. Now the source of this journal is manual. It means we created this man journal manually. Approvals not required and uh, fund status, nothing but budget is not enabled for this journals. Batch status is unposted. Now we, we, we are going to post the journal and uh, journal has been completed status is completed it means you can't make any other level next let's go for post the journals after posting the journals if we wanted to test whether the journals has been posted successfully or not what we do is we'll go to the task list here and go to the task manage journals and search with the task called uh, journal batch or uh, journal name okay and every time we are getting accounting period as April, what is the reason why we are getting April? Because we are in March, right? Why every time default value we are getting April? Let's go to period close. And then we have to go to general ledger. We are working in GL periods. What is the reason? Just go to first January. See, the fourth April also is open status. So whatever the period is in open status, that we are going to get it that uh, right now period is there that's the reason we are going to get here it is okay so what we will do is uh, we'll go for uh, change the status here this is closing the period if at all we want to go for close the period we can put but anyway it's not anyway this instance will be refreshed after one month there won't be any problem let's go to close the after one week it will be closed Let's go to April, action, close the period. Program has been submitted. Let me just refresh this. Sir, before posting the entry, if we want to uh, cancel that, uh, what we have done, is it possible or no? We have to post that. Sorry, which one? 
come again like if we if we just create an entry and then okay. we realize we don't want that so can we cancel it before posting or so you want to cancel the journal is it yeah in case if we want to cancel it we want posting. to go with the uh, journals uh, cancellation we have to go back to journals yes now we got accounting period is march because uh, april period i have closed it whatever the latest period is in open status that we will be getting here now the journal has been posted successfully here the journal has been created and posted but after creating the journal you can see that there is one more journal has been uh, uh, created this actually we created only one journal right we created this journal and we posted and after that we are getting another one so that is because of there might be another ledger another ledger which is secondary ledger secondary ledger might be created the moment when you create a journal here see that see us rc sla euro currency sla means sub ledger accounting or uh, it means uh, it is us reporting currency another ledger is there so we have entered the journals in us dollar here after that the system has automatically converted into in euro currency also uh, this is foreign currency transaction system has used currency conversion type as corporate and this is the rate which we have over here it is okay so whenever we are working with this uh, journal here i can see that this is what your uh, journal name and it has been posted uh, successfully and after that we can also find this reporting option reporting journal is there right so this is uh, how we are supposed to give the demo when when you got an opportunity let's use a simple english whatever you are performing on the screen let's try to use simple english maybe in the initial stage uh, it it will take uh, some time after pro giving 15 10 15 uh, demos it will be easy as i said already we are going to have around 30 to 40 placement uh, assignment uh, batches uh, classes Uh, once you give all this 30 40 assignments then you will be ready for an interview in the interview everybody knows how to perform the only thing is you are not in a position to explain the things use simple english whatever you are doing so let's say now we have searched for the journal let's go to journal we will see what is the status of this journal batch status is posted and go for save and close okay and let's go to home page where we can find our uh, journal access this is how we'll go for a hire an employee create a user account and set the password add the gl roles provide data access and create journal but one thing what you have to remember is when you want to go this flow first of all you have to be clear about the assignment and the sequence of steps that's why whenever we are doing any assignment first you have to open the notepad and first you note it down what you are going to do so that the audience will come to know okay when you are doing this the audience will come to know the previous tasks has been completed currently this task is going on and next is tasks are going to happen so that by end of that the assignment will be very clear for the presenter as well as for the audience for the, both the people the same flow we are going to explain in the interview maybe it is a simple assignment but whenever i give any assignment this assignment i given on friday evening you got two days opportunities multiple times you should have created this okay when you are performing note down notepad no, write down the task names okay i can give this all task names in the notepad but what you will do as a consultant you should be perfect the purpose of this placement batch is student should be perfect not the trainer i have delivered 102 batches right from 2014 what is there for me to again go for doing this work i can do it immediately but you have to do it right that is the main agenda of that as a student you should become perfect maybe in the initial stage you are going to be a nervous or maybe it is slow don't worry you wanted to get a job and settle in life let's come let's come come up with that we don't need to worry about what other people will think about our english no even I, i when i am going to talk a lot of mistakes will be there and grammar mistakes might be there some other but i don't care about that so i have some flow i have some 
uh, agenda in front of me. I just wanted to complete. In case if there is anything after that, I'll try to rectify myself and try to update myself. And this is how you have to do it. Let's. This is our just fourth assignment. We have total forty plus assignments in our placement batch. This is our fourth assignments. Let's start from today and think that you have to perform the assignment practically and also theoretically. Both are required. Maybe you are strong practically, but if they ask you in the interview, tell me what are the different types of uh, reversing methods we have. We have two types. We can make the credit as debit. Another one is uh, change the sign negative. Okay. So uh, this is a straight away answer. That's fine. If they ask you, what is your procure to pay cycle? Can you explain? There the things comes will come. Because when you want to explain procure to pay cycle, you need a good communication. The flow is required. We'll create a requisition. And after requisition is created, we'll go for approve it. Once it is approved, we'll create RFQ. We'll send this RFQ to supplier. Then we'll receive quotation from supplier. Then we'll create purchase order. Then we'll create an invoice for purchase order. After invoice is created, we'll validate the invoice. We'll go for approve the invoice. We'll go for create accounting entries. And we'll transfer these accounts to GL. For this invoice, we'll make a payment and also we'll go for create accounting entries for payment. And again, we'll transfer to GL. Then we are going to transfer these accounts to the, sorry, uh, this information to cash management for reconciliation. And finally, in GL module, it will be posted. And then it's going to be trial balance. You know already this. Multiple times you order, but this flow is required. It will come. It, it, will, it may not be a simple thing, but it will come. That's why. I have recruited one uh, consultant every two days. We are going to have mock interviews. Okay, so you have to put more uh, effort. And uh, they, uh, the, they, their work is mainly asking the interviews questions and answers. In our mobile app also, I have created a folder. There I'm going to post our assignments and also the FAQs. Let's uh, go through that. And uh, uh, because every time I may not be available, that's why I have recruited one finance consultant only for mark interviews. You will be just taking mark interviews to make you perfect. Because our uh, motto is the people who are in this batch, everybody should get a job. If you want to get a job, first you have to clear the interview. Clearing of interview will depend on two things. One is subject. Second one is the explanation, especially for functional consultant. If you are a technical consultant, even if your communication is a little bit uh, less, no problem. They are ready to recruit you because you are going to work from offshore and uh, you will be reporting to the offshore team leader so they can manage something. But if you are a functional consultant, you are supposed to interact with the business users. Communication is very important. Very, very, very important. Let's start from today itself. In another 37 days we have, 37 assignments we have. In this 37 assignment uh, completion, before completion, you should be very strong and be perfect. Okay. Thank you.